I am Professor Vijay Prakash Anand. In this video, I am going to talk about STP. Yes, you are right. I am going to talk about segmentation, targeting and positioning. STP is one of the most important concept in the subject area of marketing. Once the marketing analysis phase is complete, the next stage in the marketing process consists of segmentation, targeting and positioning. We also talk about market segmentation, target market selection and product positioning for STP. A successful marketing strategy depends a lot on these three steps because what do we do? Earlier the life was very very simple and so was marketing and that's why Henry Ford said that the people can have the model T in any color so long as it's black. Now that was the era of mass production, mass distribution and mass marketing. Although the era is still exists but there is a difference. In a world of more than 6 billion people, the needs are different and their tests are also different. That's why Ford's Model T gave way to General Motors strategy to produce different cars for different buyers. Right at the top with the brand Cadillac and at the bottom with brand Chevrolet. Now in the Indian context today, if you are Colgate, you can still produce Colgate dental cream and sell it to millions of people in India besides other countries. But you also need to produce Colgate Total, you also need to produce Colgate Sensitive, Colgate Max Fresh, Colgate Kids, Colgate Fresh, Colgate Herbal, Colgate Sibaka, Colgate Advanced Whitening and Colgate Active Salt to complete consumer's pie. In India, Colgate has a market share of more than 50% in the oral care market. Out of the 50%, 35% comes from a single product and that is Colgate Dental Cream and the rest is contributed by the rest brands. Now on the whole, a company can adopt the practice of undifferentiated marketing where it will go for one product for all the consumers like Nirma detergent powder or it can offer different products for it different consumer segments like Hindustan Unilever offers, Surf Excel, Rin and Will or it can go after concentrated marketing by offering products for just one market segment as the specialist like Vanish Sakti Stain Remover is there that is from Rekit Bankaiser. Now, you can be a mass marketeer, but at the same time, you need to be a niche marketeer to sustain yourself with the changing needs of the customer. Now, greater competition and unique needs of consumers has led the companies towards the market segmentation. According to Brian and Ellis, market segmentation involves dividing the market of potential customers into homogeneous subgroups. Now, these subgroups may be distinguished in terms of their behavior pattern, attitudes, demographic characteristics, psychographic profile and the like. Now, what do you need to remember is that the market segments are not created by the company. Yes market segments are not created by the company but it exists in the market the marketeers need to identify the segment and then decides as to which one he will target now market segmentation helps large companies to be relevant for the small group of customers for a small companies it helps to be the niche player in the market it is relevant for large fast moving consumer goods companies like hul Colgate, ITC and it's also relevant for a relatively a small FMCG company like Ghari Detergent. Now at the same time segmentation also helps the company to differentiate their market offering for large segment of the customers. That's why you find Lux, Lirel, Rexona, Hamam, Bridge, Peers and Dove coming out from the same company HUL, Hindustan Unilever Limited. Thus, market segmentation will help you understand the different sets of customers available in the market. Now, how do you segment a market? The basis of market segmentation have gone a long way through different stages. It has started with demographic segmentation as the data was easily available and it was easy to class classify them. Then it moved on to geographic segmentation, geodemographic segmentation, psychographic segmentation and behavioral segmentation. 
and that's why there are five ways to segment the market that is demographic segmentation geographic segmentation geo demographic segmentation psychographic segmentation and behavioral segmentation thanks for watching the video